Hello everyone and welcome back to another freaking episode here on Arch Survival Ascended. Yeah, little good. We're back here on Aberration with a um, glow pet on our shoulder. Because we might need one, we might not, I am not sure. But we are going to be grabbing a different glow pet for this video. So, as you all can see, we've been kind of working on some crop plots. Um, yeah, I just want basic stuff out of the way for the next video we're going to be doing. Hint, hint. <laughs> but for today's video, I actually kind of want to go try and tame us up a basilisk. Yeah. So we're going to use little bait over here. Which has the trap. Yep, yep. One foundation is my trap. <laughs> we might actually just put some stuff away. Just to make space. Let's see here. Yeah, I've kind of been using the storage on the roof just to put stuff, extra stuff away. Um, let's see now. I'm gonna put my frog in there. Might put my diver in there. You know what? I was thinking of doing this with the Yi Ling. But maybe... We should do this with the rock track instead. Yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know if we're going to be posting the last video, because Ark wasn't working. But if you are, you would know we hit it down into the rock track nest, and we got ourselves a level 185 egg. Yeah. And that 185 made bibis. We kind of use the bibis. I put them in here. We have three females and one male that's been making me eggs, which we're going to use today. But yeah, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to put that away. Actually, you never know when you might need these things. That's the issue. Okay, so... The way I'm planning on doing this then is... Um, back in, in our base where we kind of find our metal... Near the entrance, there has been a level 90 basilisk just terrorizing the area. So I kind of want to go check if it's still up there. If not, we might end up just going around searching for one. Yeah, let's get this guy out. Let's see. Let's see. Give you some stamina. Because, you know, we're just going to kind of run. If you would... Dude, just grab onto the goddamn rock. Okay. Sure. God damn it. Well, there we go. Jeez. Yeah, the climbing mode has been kind of weird with this dude. Uh. Ah, there we go. But it is really nice to have rock tricks again. Let's see. Is it in here? I don't feel like it is. But it probably is. Probably because we haven't taken the, the way like this before. Let's see. Okay. It's just... I hear the things being attacked. Oh no. Oh damn. Okay. That Cosmo was hiding. There it is. It's still here. Okay. I actually came up for metal and I couldn't find it. It's the same one. Okay, 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 no problem. Um, so the way... Is it still alive? It's fighting like two. Okay. So the way we're gonna do... I forgot the eggs. Come on, man. So hopefully this thing survives the onslaught of freaking... Stegos, because everyone knows Stegos are kind of insane on this map. Okay, it's still a lot. There's so many Stegos, though. Okay, I'm actually just going to put the trap down. Then we might have to um, help that dude out. So, we're going to pop one out. We're going to do this. doesn't seem to work anymore okay it doesn't go underneath what the imprint that's cool i wonder 
Is it the other way around now? Because I... Oh. Okay. Interesting. That they change that. That's really freaking weird. Can't enclose pets into the foundations anymore. I mean, it doesn't really work with the um, egg either. Well, I'm gonna still try this either way. Put that down. Put this down on top of you. It's just like that. And then I'm gonna put my bulb dog like right on it. Go make sure you're passive. You're gonna be bait, bait. <laughs> So basically, we're gonna just try and run over... Over it. Oh my god, I kinda want the basilisk to eat the pressure. Holy! Come on! Okay. You done? There you go. God damn it. Um, bro. Bro. Oh, oh! Oh, damn. Is it coming for me now? No. There we go. Where, where the hell did I put the light bit? Okay, I see it. I see it. Is the snake a coming? Come a little basilisk. Dude. I know you're down there. Hello? Hi? Um. Oh, sh shit. Oh my god. That was scary. What the? You coming? Oh, it's gonna spit. Okay, cool. Yeah, come on. Why does it seem slow? God damn it, dude. Hey! I will use strong arrows just because it does a little bit less damage. Bro? You don't care? Oh, it's attacking a baby now. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for it to finish its meal, I guess. There you go. Yeah, just, just head over here. You coming? Yeah, coming. Oh, come on, dude. Ugh, let's just help out then, I guess. Come on. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the arse. What the hell? Just eliminate the glow pets as well. Dude, where the hell did it go? Excuse me, snake. Uh, did we just lose a freaking basilisk? Excuse me, son. Where the fuck are ya? Hmm. Oh, here you go. Can I, like, bite its tail or some shit? Dude! Get on, get on, get on. It's probably gonna... Holy... Fight that. Oh yeah, don't fight the Basilisk. Can't believe we're actually helping a Basilisk out. Oh god! 
Yeah, it should be able to take that. Okay, yeah, you, you follow me. You follow... Yeah, right over here. Yeah, right there. Come on. The heck are you doing? There's like a bulldog right freaking there, dude. Have a munch. Okay, apparently one wasn't enough. We're gonna have to drop another. So I'm just gonna... Come on! God damn it, fair not now. Yeah, come on. I want you to... Excuse me? That's fucking scary. Come on! I'm right here. Jeez. Yeah, dude. I thought... I didn't think it would take more than one freaking bite. Come. Have a bite. Have a bite. It's right there. Ah. Yeah. There we go. We have ourselves a freaking basilisk. Holy shit, dude. God damn. I wonder if us actually freaking biting it lowered the effectiveness. It probably did. But Jesus Christ, look at this thing. It's a massive ass snake. So a level 90 took two eggs on 2.5 times taming. Like, that's interesting. So the big thing about basilisks are they actually... Um, have good, very good weight and very low reduction. So if you're busy building things and you have to move around, these things are actually really amazing for that. So we're probably gonna need more eggs. Because we have a male. We need a female. I want an imprint so one of one of these dudes. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Because I think like the Carcanos, they are, um, Readable too. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave all of that in a bag for now. But holy shit, we have one! I wonder how expensive is it to actually build the um, saddle for this thing? This lisk. Oh, we can build one. Let's see. Oh my god. It's actually pretty expensive with the metal. 425 metal. That's insane. Jesus. But yeah, some green gems. Which is interesting that it doesn't take other gems. Okay, okay. Jeez. Where do we let you out? Hmm. Oh, okay. Right there, I guess. This thing is huge, so, you know. Tadam! Holy popsicles! Okay, that's the poison and the bite. Heh, <laughs> just taking a picture. I hope I'm not. The cosmetic roar. Oh my god, all the spit! <laughs> okay, we just freaking ran through. Probably a trilobite. We can kill things by simply sprinting? Okay, that's interesting. We are kind of getting stuck into the mesh. Let's see. We seem pretty slow at swimming. Which, I mean, does make sense. It's a snake. Land is its friend. <laughs> Level 90. Let's just check on the land. And that was, it went actually way easier than I thought it would. So the old way kind of still works, because, like, it did go after the bulldog. Sorry, little guy. Okay, continuous damage. That's not bad. 147 per bite. And I think it does, like, poison 
and after it bites as well, so well, that's not so really good. Give you some stab. 6,800 health, which isn't bad at all. Why so much food though, for fuck's sakes? But look at that, a thousand weight without any levels. We got very bad melee though, so yeah, there's that. We have okay um, health and bad melee with the big freaking food stat. Of course, we get a big freaking food stat. This thing is actually kind of fast. Whoa, we're zooming. See what's your level? Level 10. Cowboy. Oh, 300 damage on that one. Interesting. Okay, okay. Not bad. Rawr, bitches. Okay. They are mate boosted. 147 so okay yeah the poison does kind of go wherever you aim it so you can like look behind you maybe and okay no that doesn't work because that would have been kind of op but you are gonna kind of aggro a bunch of stuff if you're just sliding around really fast because you do do damage to things isn't the best but you know Okay, so it's only those attacks. I was just making sure they didn't add things. But yeah, this thing is actually kind of... I really like how fast it is on land. And I will show you guys now why I wanted a dino that can carry quite a bit. So we're gonna have to put some stam into you, but also some freaking much the weight doesn't even go up by much which is actually kind of interesting boys and ball you're dead <laughs> so the reason i ooh, actually want one of y'all but the reason i want a big thing like this is because we are in the middle of building our new base and like Lugging stuff around the whole time is kind of pain in the arse if I'm gonna be honest So having something like a basilisk would actually be amazing and I think something as huge as this thing would fit our new base area perfectly So I th oh this thing doesn't even have an oxygen stat Interesting so it can just chill down here Forever Just lie in wait Jesus Christ imagine this big of a thing and then you just grab a sip of water and then it's just like oh boom bitch you're dead you're dead <laughs> seriously look how big this thing is fuck it hell but yeah let's head over to the other base i just want to go put the glow tail down real quick i wonder can you tell it to like bury Ooh. You can! Okay, so does that. I guess you can tell it to, like... I guess if you put it on, like, aggressive or neutral... Or turn mode. Interesting. So you can, like, tell it to... Okay. Spit. I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's just put this guy down. And let's take him to base. But the reason I don't want to have something on my shoulder and take this dude away is... Simply just because, um, I don't know if it's still an issue, but, like, back on the island, I tried, like, using one of these teleport thingies with a creature on my shoulder and a creature I was riding, and it, like, threw all my stuff away. Yeah, it kind of broke and, um, killed me, so... Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit scared to do that, you know? I should actually check this guy for traits, but I left that at home. Um, where did the basilisk go? God damn it, man. Is its chin like above this thing or some shit? 
Yeah, it kind of seems like it is. Uh, I guess we can, like, just take some extra food with... Wall you up and take you then. Screw it. <laughs> I mean, it is a large-ass snake, so it doesn't surprise me that it's slightly too big to just teleport around freely. Here you go. I should really put those away. Oh my gosh. Can we actually fit through this? We should. Um. Okay, well, we should, but there's no space back there, it seems. God damn it, man. You're large, my dude. You're so freaking large. <laughs> Let's see, can I kind of slide... Across you, and then go at the back like that. Yeah, that should be okay. There you are. Here we go. So the reason I kind of want to have this dude around is simply just to carry, um, like all the extra bits and pieces. Like there you go. You can carry like all my stone, my thatch. stone and then we can just simply actually move with this guy still have some space and some oh okay that was weird and we're busy building our new this is gonna be my house so we can just put this dude here like so just make sure you're on passive not running anywhere and then we can just farm shit up we can tell it to follow, but that might be a little bit dangerous. Oh, we're hungry, so we can just munch on some foods. But like now, we can just... Take our crab, for instance. We need some wood. Oh god, I would just grab the damn thing. Okay, we decide we need some wood, we can go do gathering, blah blah blah. I won't like do a full run. Same with the, our um, dodickers. Drop you down. It's just faster to do it like this rather than to manually run with the roll rat. Kinda why I wanted the crab. And then just, you know. To a little drive-by. Wee. Put our things down. Or, you know, if it follows us or if we're on top of it and have these things follow us, we can just, like, pull things in. That works as well. Just give us some stamina. Why the hell not? But, yeah, now we can just go on to this guy and be like oh we need wood let's pull for wood oh look the roll rat has all the wood we need and then we can just build stuff from there the pool mod is definitely amazing for this type of things it makes building so much easier but also harder in one specific way like when you want to build like 50 ceilings you can only build as many as your weight allows but if you manually put things in your inventory you can kind of overweigh yourself so that's another reason the basilisk is pretty good because now i can just go like okay okay oh instead of just making like let's say 10 walls for instance i can make 20 now you know it's, it's very useful. Then we just kind of stand here and wait for it to finish up. And we can even put our building stuff we finish building back into the basilisk. You know, if we're just going to build stuff before we actually place them down. So this thing is extremely useful. Plus, if you're in the middle of building and a pesky raptor is fighting, you can just hop on top of them. Start bleeding him down once he comes close and you can just take him out, you know? Like now, there we go. So I'm guessing we needed more wood. Yeah, we didn't do a full run, so that makes sense. But yeah, 
Ta-da, three more. And two and three. Now, oh god damn it, give me that back. Now we can just put all of the, these things back in them. There you go, give me that back and we can move again. Now we can start placing walls and doing all of the thing, blah blah blah, you know? Like, let's see. Double doors. Actually, I think for the look of what I want to build, just a normal door at the front would do. Kind of wanted to place like three double doors here, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to fit the aesthetic we're going for. We're going for like steampunk aesthetic. But yeah, it can just be like... Um, Window over here, window over here, go back to walls, god damn it, I missed it. Because we have other things, we can just put the storage thing down if we can't reach it anymore. Or if you want, you can place like a little... Unfortunately, if you use the teleportation mode, things that aren't on full surfaces, like on a foundation or flat surface, like ground, they kind of get stuck in the ground. So I wouldn't put this dude like on a metal piece next to it, but it should be fine here and you can tell it to bury itself. If you tell it to bury itself, it can still access its inventory. So that should be fine. You can like go here for instance. Just be like, yeah, go down. And you can still pull stuff from it, pull stuff into it, access this inventory, and it doesn't take as much space. So that's super nice as well. I'm actually just gonna place the first two... The first bit is going to be two walls up anyway, so let's just do that. Turning into a freaking building video. I don't really do building videos, but yeah. But just because I don't feel safe doing that, I'd rather just, you know, kind of... Oh, kind of keep this dude on top of there for now. Maybe we can place some um, foundations down there just to keep it there because I would feel way safer if it's on top of something. We're still kind of expanding the whole dino area which is going to be this whole section up to the base, maybe next to the base. We already carried something I want to same up here. But yeah, we're still working on getting ready to actually make veggie cakes. Uh, I do want to build a greenhouse like back there. I don't know if it's going to work because there's not natural light in here, but I'm still gonna do it anyways, cause you know, I'm used to doing that, so I shall continue doing that. But yeah guys, we have a freaking basilisk, look at this dude. That was actually super easy, god damn it. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Oh, look, look, at, look at your tongue. It even has color regions on the tongue, that's pretty cool. Do it. Yeah, do the blue level. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna leave that guy right there. Welcome to your new home. Uh, yeah, I have big plans for our actual base. I wanna go huge with this one. Like, we're gonna continue putting walls down, blah, blah, blah. Then we're actually gonna put ceilings out by two on each side and then build up and do it once again. To have, like, a gigantic freaking entrance type thing. Okay, so maybe the door should actually be there. But yeah, we'll figure this out. I'm not someone who usually does builds on screen, you know, because there's so much that goes wrong in them and so many things going into them, so... Yeah, it would just be me screwing up every few minutes and then being like, no, no, I don't want to do that. Or I do something and then I don't like it and I have to redo it. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, we have what we actually went out for. It was way easier. It's kind of funny. Um, we got a basilisk before we got like Akatinas or Ovises or stuff like that because we need kibble. 
I the process I want to do is I want to make some full cable so that I can use that to tame us up a giant bee so that we can make honey which we can use for the veggie cakes yeah I, I just think having permanent honey is better than finding like a tree and just stealing honey and doing it like that because yeah I don't, I don't think that's pretty sustainable but yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, so for the next one we might um, go out on a little farming taming spree, get snails because we need the cementing paste, get uh, overs, and I kind of want to show y'all where I can get a ton of black pearls as well, which is a bit of a dangerous one, so yeah that should be fun. But if you guys enjoyed, please do me leave me a like, maybe consider subscribing. Little wiggle wiggle. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.